Are you experiencing change in your life? Are you finding that things are shifting and you're not really excited about it? If that is the case, my friends, you are in the right place. I'm Angela Dryden, a certified life coach, and today in this video, I want to share with you some tips and perspectives and ways to look at change that you might not have before. So first of all, we want to look at change as a whole, like what is change? So kind of the definition of change is something has shifted, someone or something is different than what it was before. So that makes a different, that's what change is. And usually change comes into our lives in two different ways. The first way is the way in which we want to make a change. We actually are excited about something different and we're ready to move forward with that. So there's that one way in which we actually have decided to show up for this game. Like this is something we wanted. And because of that, usually at the beginning, right, you're really excited about it. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna make this change. This is really exciting. And as you get into that change, there's some challenges that come your way. There's some obstacles that might show up for you. And that's okay because you wanted to make this change so you keep on going through that process. And because of that, you find yourself either, right, hitting the goal of whatever that change was or whatever that looked like for you. You kind of hit the top of what that looked like. You made that shift. And other times we don't quite reach that top that we wanted, but we still step back and go, wait a minute, I, I did make a shift. Like there's something different than what it was before. And then we have over here another kind of change. We have the change that happens to us. We have the change that we were not expecting. The change that we did not want and we do not feel that we deserve it. And that is the kind of change that I want to talk about with you today. When a change comes into your life that you didn't necessarily want, what I have found that that is happening is that you usually have something that is valuable to you something that you place of high value and you feel like you are losing it. You're either losing all of it or some of it or whatever part of it it is. You have something you value and you no longer have grasp on it. So there's a sense of powerlessness that you are experiencing during this time of change. So I want to give you two examples of two universal values that you can kind of use as a guiding post when it comes to trying to discover and find out what it is for you that you are valuing, that you feel like you are losing during this time of change. So during this time of change, um, one of the universal values that I find with clients is routine. Now, it's really not a secret that routine is a value for us as human beings because it's kind of a primitive thing. We love the safety and routine. We love to know what's coming up next. We love to be able to have that experience of routine. I mean, you know, we go to bed at a certain time, we wake up at a certain time. There are patterns of routine in our lives and we do like the predictability of routine. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean we want to have it scheduled and have our day totally planned out. I'm not talking about that kind of routine, although that could be something that you value that's important to you. I'm talking about the routine of just feeling like there's this pattern, this familiarity, like I'm familiar with all this, this makes sense to me, that kind of pattern. So there's this routine we have in life. Now the other one that's kind of a universal value, again, it's a primitive human nature that we want, is relationships. We want to connect with people, we want to be part of a tribe, a group, you know, whatever setting that looks like, we just want to be part of the community. And because we want that, Again, if we experience a change that disrupts that or takes away something or we feel like we're losing something, that would mean that we might feel like we're losing something that's really important and we're not going to like that. Again, we're going to be frustrated. We're going to be angry. We might be sad. We might be worried or anxious, not knowing what's going to happen. And so those are kinds of things that come up when it comes to change in our lives and what might be showing up for us during this time of change and uncertainty for us. So now I want to dive into some three tips to help you during change. The first tip I want to talk about is connection. I'm talking about connection that you have with yourself and with your higher power, your source energy, your God, whatever that looks like for you. 
that you have that connection and you strengthen that connection, that you invest time in that connection, that you get clear about what that connection looks like for you. Because the more rooted and grounded we are in our everyday life, change is still going to come. Change is universal. Change happens to all of us. We don't get to really, like, it just is part of the deal. Like, change is going to come into our lives. So that is something that you can do before change. You can do it during change, and you can do it after change. It doesn't, th that is something that is there for you. But the more you take the energy and invest the time in that, the more you'll be able to kind of navigate yourself a little differently through this change. So here's two questions that I would um, want to offer for you to ask yourself during the time of change. The first question is, how do I want to show up during this change? And what I mean when I talk about showing up is I mean, how do you want to be? What kind of person are you when difficulties come? How do you want to present yourself when a challenge comes your way? What does that look like for you? And how clear are you on that person that you are being? So when you show up during a time of change, what does that look like? Now, it would make sense that that connection with self and your higher power, the stronger that gets, the more clear you can actually be on how you want to show up, right? The next step. So what does that look like for you during this time of change? The second question I want to offer for you to ask yourself is, how could this change be helpful to me? Like, what is it that I'm going to learn from this change? Possibly. You know, because during the time of change, when something's being pulled from you, that's something you value and you feel like you're losing, sometimes the last thing we want to do is look at, like, how is this even useful or helpful to me? Like, that's the last thing on our mind, which is why I want to offer it to you to think about now. Not because I want you to switch to happy thoughts, but because I want you to switch to possibilities. What is something different that I haven't looked at it before that maybe this might be perfect for me? You know, that's a crazy thing for me to even ask myself during this time of change. Or what is it that I am going to learn from this? What am I going to actually gain from this happening? Now that I've shared this information with you, take it to heart, digest it kind of look at it a little bit differently. There might have been some things I shared with you that you never thought of, that you were like, that's interesting. I never thought that maybe I was losing something. That's why this change felt the way it did. Maybe that's something that's new to you. Maybe you thought, gosh, I never thought of looking at a change as though, what am I going to learn from it? That's never been a thought that crossed my mind. Or maybe another thought is, I never thought of, like, how do I want to show up during this change? That that never occurred to me that I have that option. Or maybe the other thing is that I don't even, I didn't even think about connection. Like I am a little unclear about that. Maybe that is something that I need to work on that might be more helpful than what I'm doing right now. My friends, my goal is that this video was helpful to you. I also, in the notes in this video, have some more content I'd love to give to you. It's some free, it's a free printout, a free PDF on change and on different perspectives and way to look at change, on things to even help you dive even deeper when it comes to change in your life. Now, when you are ready, I am here. Reach out to me. Let's book a discovery call. And just like the change that we talked about at the beginning, the first step of change where you're ready and you're wanting to move forward and you're excited about it, if anything that I shared with you kind of made you feel like, boy, this, this resonates with me, I, this makes a lot of sense to me, then we want to do the change that you're ready for because you're ready to move forward. Book the one-to-one -one with me. Let's get on a discovery call and let's connect. I look forward to getting to meet you and chat with you soon. Take care. Bye.